Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome to MENAC, the National Museum of Contemporary Art of Catalonia. I would like to thank the Minister of Health for being here in order to open this international symposium. Thank you very much for being here. I'll be brief. You have very, a very intense agenda ahead in the upcoming two days. So, it's been now three or four years that we remarked an international practice building a bridge between health and arts, not in a superficial manner, nor in a, let's say, abstract manner, but rather from a scientific perspective. And, well, at the beginning, at least here in Catalonia, we were new to the topic, so when Guillem de Fac told us more about the topic, he's the coordinator of the conference and he works in the museum, by the way. Thank you very much, Guillem. So we realize that this work line is extraordinary. As you know, here in museums, we have been insisting for quite a long time that museums only make sense when people visit them and when they are a public service that respond to the needs of society. Of course, we curate heritage, but this is not enough. We need to have a social project. Our condition of being a public service imposes us the mandate of working with all the communities that compose society. So in this social deployment of museums, we have now included a new strategic axis, not only here, by many museums in the country, and many representatives from different Catalan museums are here today. So making the most of cultural, music, heritage, here we are speaking about arts, right? So making the most of all this heritage to promote health from a science-based perspective, that is, achieving better health outcomes in psychiatric or heart patients, well, this is quite revolutionary. We have, oh, I mean, today we'll raise different experiences. There are a couple of programs that will be explained today. We are implementing them in collaboration with Val de Brown Hospital. So we are using the oval room, not the cupola, because there's quite a lot of demand. It's very easy. It's very difficult to have 378 people enrolled in a symposium on a Thursday morning in the top of the cliff here in Montjuic, in the outskirts of Barcelona. So thank you very much for being here. And I would like to also thank the health department, ICS, the manager of the ICS, Dr. Cabezas, Dr. Cabezas, thanks for your leadership, thanks for your engagement, and thanks for having brought us on board. We are very pleased to be on board with you. The museum is at your entire disposal. We want to be used. I like this expression. We like to be used. We need to do things that respond to visitors. And I believe that you are acting as a disruption agent. Uh, we are very pleased. I hope you will have a lovely session. Uh, we have top-level speakers, like an international representative of the WHO. So I am sure we'll develop alliances and we'll build bridges to make sure that the topic uh, moves ahead. Mm, dear Minister, when you wish, you have the floor. Hello and good morning. Good morning to all of you. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for attending the International Symposium. As the MENAC director, Pepe Serra, told us, it's an extraordinary symposium and it's amazing that it's taking place. More than 370 participants, some of them are following us online, others are here in the room, in this amazing oval room in this perfect location in the top of the cliff of Montjuic, in an international symposium gathering people from different domains. Some of you work in public health, in community health, in primary health, and others work in the culture, orbit, museums, and arts in general. 
we are gathered in an international symposium in which seven different, different real-life experiences will be shared experiences or best practices of how to implement arts in health, not arts and health, but arts in health. Of course, we'll also take an international scope, thanks to the collaboration of our dear international guest, representative of the WHO, and Dr. Cabezas, who will tell us more about different best practices at an international level. It's the first time this international symposium takes place in Catalonia and in Spain also. When it comes to continental Europe, well, we're kicking off. So we are amongst the first ones. We are leading the path towards the implementation of arts in health. Why do we believe this topic is interesting from a health perspective? Why is the regional minister for health here talking to you, the culture regional minister unfortunately could not attend this morning, otherwise she would also be here. Well, there is no doubt that arts and culture are intertwined with health. Actually, 80% of health conditions are, let's say, outside the health sector. They have to do with social inequalities, lifestyle, also emotional state of mind. This is scientific evidence and there are different research, longitudinal research carried out in Sweden and in the UK, according to which all these parameters are directly related with the survival of oncologic patients or heart conditions. And you will be asking yourself, how is that even possible? Listen, for example, undesired loneliness, people who experience undesired loneliness, that is. So the fact of experiencing undesired loneliness has the same negative impact as smoking 1.5 packages of cigarettes a day. This is the impact that undesired loneliness has on health with uh, associated risks, of course, related to, for example, heart strokes or blood spillovers. So the lack of emotional well-being has a direct impact, of course, on mental health, and this is very important. This is a condition, right? But it also has an, a direct impact on other conditions, on other health conditions. So emotional well-being, personal empowerment, and the impact it has in terms of art and culture in health. Well, there are different work lines. For example, let's take the example of cognitive development, visiting museums, being acquainted with art and music, developing critical analysis skills, which is directly related with personal empowerment, socializing, that is, taking part in community activities, the pleasure we take in seeing aesthetic elements, the capacity it gives us to control our emotions and the emotional well-being that arts bring up, self-confidence, self-esteem, which is directly related, related with the previous, and the increase of in physical activity, right? Because it means you are moving around. You're moving around a museum. You're carrying out activities. So these are only some of the topics that we will raise today and tomorrow. I was discussing with the press before the session, and I was telling them, imagine that one day you will receive a prescription to visit a museum. Yes, it will be a reality in the near future. We are already prescribing more health, more, more physical activity from primary care centers. So in the near future, we have the objective to being able to prescribe visits to museums or attendance to a concert in collaboration with cultural networks. So we, will, we want doctors and nurses to be able to prescribe, prescribe culture, because culture is health from an holistic perspective, from a global scope that goes one step forward, uh, reactive approaches and it composes a, pre a prevention approach, rather. And this is why the health department is very much interested in understanding this 
field. I know a lot has been done from the Catalan Health Institute with the leadership of Alejandro. And after having experienced COVID-19 peak and the post-COVID-19 context in which mental health has to be placed in the center, right? Because COVID-19 has been very stressful, not to speak about everyday life. Everyday life is already stressful per se. But after such a harsh episode that has had such a strong impact on us, we believe that Arts in health is an element that needs to be taken into account from a global perspective and will be digging into this field. It's not going to be a mere experiences analysis. We'll be giving it structure within the Catalan Health Department. Let me raise one last item, one last point, which is homework for us. The feeling of well-being, the feeling that health improves has to be made scientific evidence like they do in the WHO and in some longitudinal research that has been implemented around the world. So there are very interesting best practices and we have also an assessment agency which is the tool we have in order to make sure that these experiences have a direct impact on health. And when we make it clear, and when we do this correlation with health outcomes, it's only then that we can include it into the system in a genuine manner, in a clear way. And of course, knowing that this line contributes to improving general health. And this is our raison d'etre from all possible scope. So thank you very much for being here. I wish you a very fruitful conference. Thanks for being here. And I hope that many, many different projects will pop up from here on. We are looking forward to receiving projects, a long list of projects that we need to assess and implement. This is not about me, it's all about you. And I am sure you are very enthusiastic about the topic at hand. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Thanks.